Hey, less lethal people. So, I'm here today and I'm with one of my carry packages. So, a lot of times I carry the Pepperball TCP and I have the uh, PRV Delete and um, I usually carry it with an 8 gram CO2 cartridge. I'm just running low on 8 gram CO2s and I don't want to use them up. So, today I'm using a 12 gram in the 16 conversion. So I keep it loaded with uh, six to seven rounds. I don't usually keep eight in it because I find I get the most maximum power out of uh, six to seven rounds. And I keep a stock TCP barrel on here with the metal detents and I have a compensator on the front. Doesn't really matter what compensator, I like the Grimberg one. And I use these bullets, okay? That's the company, these are the projectiles I use because they are pretty much bore match perfectly for this barrel and they work really great. So I have my chronograph out here to do a little testing. And the reason I do is because this is carried is this is my concealed carry setup. And when you have the smaller of the magazines in here, it honestly does very well. You don't have that piece protruding out the back. So you're able to conceal carry very easily. And I make my own Kydex holster. So if anybody needs a Kydex holster, whether it be for an HDP, an HDR uh, 50, uh, I don't do them for the HDR 68 yet because they're a little long, but I do it for the HDR 50, HDP 50, and for the FSC TCP, I do it for them. And it's great. You know, I do it for the burner too if you need it. But anyway, I prefer to work with this. So I got this loaded up. And as you can see, I got my target set up there and I have a bucket. Now, I'm just gonna show you on that bucket, I surprised myself. I actually, now for those of you not know what bucket this is, this is those chlorine buckets there. This is no joke. I put it through here and out the back end. So today, I want to try to get that on video, if I could, and see if it happens again. Then we'll take some crony numbers and see. I got a couple of CO2 cartridges with me. I'm gonna fire off down at the Okay, so let's see what we got there. And just as I suspected, it blew through the front and out the back. So what happens is it really cracked all of this plastic here. It's very hard to see, but you could see I put my finger through it, went right through there, kept going and blew right out the back. So I don't know what the jewels that one just was, but I can tell you that that was absolutely crazy. If that was somebody, it would not be a joke. Absolutely not be a joke. Now that I'm here and I don't really want to lose any more of my projectiles because I can tell you this, that one kept going after it came out the back and went through the fence there. It's nowhere to be found underneath it. So I got the crony set up. Let's see what the second shot comes in at. I'll bring you back here. I guess we're here. And we're gonna fire right into it. It's a very cloudy day, so I really honestly don't know what's going on with the, if this crony will even read right. 271. So now this is a 10 gram projectile, 271 that was. I don't know what the first shot was. We're gonna have to do the um, math after on that. I got the phone doing the video right here, but 271 at 10 grams. I'm assuming that's close to or in the 30 joule area. Could be wrong, but. That's the second shot, here's the third. So it's going down, now I'm 246. Still good though. Now, my question is, if I loaded two or three pepper rounds 
at the bottom of this, the last two bee and pepper, would they um, crack inside the inside the marker? That's something I might give a shot to after. Let's see. 224, so it's going down each time. It goes down and down and down. So I started 271, so the fourth shot is two. So I really got two more shots left, or three more if you count the seventh one. I usually only carry six shots in the end, but I think if you... So it's five. Here's a six shot. Ninety seven on the six shot. So it's going down. And the last seventh. This one will be lower. One eighty five. So I have to do the numbers and calculate that. But basically, as we could see, the first one, super, super powerful. So let's try this. Let's empty this out. Put a fresh cartridge in and let me go grab some pepper balls. Alright, so sorry I made you guys wait while I went to get the pepper balls, but I got some older pepper balls. I don't think they're expired, but they might be two years old. So let's do this. Let's take three kinetics or four kinetics. Let's do four kinetics and two pepper balls. And let's see what we get. Let's drop one pepper ball, two pepper ball. Now, I think these are nice because they're soft and rubbery. So I don't think they will crack the marker at all. So we have six, six rounds total. And we'll put in a new CO2. I put the proper adapter in there because this will also hold a 16 gram I'm positive if I put a 16 gram in here the shots the power shots will stay up more okay let's load it up and now let's see what we got we're gonna do the three first shots into the trap and then we're gonna turn around and do the other one into the metal pan because we don't want to gas ourselves out every time we use the trap. So, first shot. Whew, 281. Fifty-eight. See the second. This is good. Two fifty-eight. Two fifty-eight. My hope is that I don't have to clean pepper balls out of this marker. Yeah. Two forty. Okay, this should be the last of the last of the uh, kinetics. Seventeen. 
See, numbers are pretty consistent. Now, let's come over here and let's see what we got when we hit the pan. We'll run them through the chronograph too. Let's do that as well. Let's bring you back here. Let's see what the pepper balls are coming out at. If they're coming out. Ooh, it hit. Didn't explode in the barrel. 356. 356. I don't know the grams of these. I gotta weigh them. But it didn't explode in the barrel. Let's see, what we got let's go top middle and see if we get a dent. Whew. We got a dent. Okay. So, let's try to get, I feel my eyes burning already. All right. So, I'm going to cover my face. Made a nice dent. We got dispersal there and down there. And that's pretty damn good. So, my point is this. I think a great way to carry this for self-defense would be four kinetics and then a pep, two pepper balls at the end. If the four kinetics coming out at the high jewels don't deter the person, you got two Hail Marys with the pepper balls left. And I think that's how I'm gonna start carrying this. Nope, no pepper in there, everything's good. Came out perfectly. Nice, nice and clean inside. Balls don't crack in there. And I got some brand new Duke Defense Extreme Pepper Balls. Those are gonna be the ones that I use. Anyway, I hope you appreciated the video. Um, I can provide these packages if anybody needs them. You could just reach out to me. They might be FSCs though, they won't be um, Pepper Ball. And if you do reach out to me, it's a custom order, so it's going to take a, about a week and a half to get and build for you. And like I said, you'll get something that's going to go through both sides. All right, guys, have a great day.